Welcome to Connect to Setup video series. This video is going to show you how to create a new account on the Connector app. Open the Connector app, click Sign up to start your registration. Enter your email address. You are going to use this email to sign in the app after registration. Please use a valid email address in order to find back your password when you forget. Click Next. Enter your password. Confirm your password. The account has been created. Click Done. Click Done. Sign in the app with your email and password. Okay, you can use the app now. Welcome to Connector Set of Video Series. This video is going to show you how to pair a new bridge. Make sure your Android device has been connected to the Wi-Fi network. Tap top right icon on the app, choose Bridge. Select a Wi-Fi network which bridge you would connect to. Enter your Wi-Fi password and then tap Connect. Press and hold the setting button on the bridge for 2 seconds and then release it until the LED flashes purple and then tap Next. Then tap Next to go to the Wi-Fi network setting. Choose the Wi-Fi network whose name starts with connector. Wait for the connection. And then go back to the connector app. Waiting for the pairing. After being paired, the LED light will be blue constantly. Tap next to give your bridge a name. And then tap down. The new bridge has been added. Welcome to Connector Setup Video Series. This video is going to show you how to add a new room. Tap Add New Room. Give the room a name. Select a picture for the room. You can choose from the app gallery or choose from your phone album or take a new picture. Tap down to complete the setup. You have successfully added a new room. Welcome to Connector Setup video series. This video is going to show you how to add a new bi-directional device by remote. Tap top right icon on app, choose radio motor. Please select a type for your device and then tap add new device. Choose bridge and then tap next. Tap by remote. Tap the motor switch icon. Tap next while holding down the stop button on the remote for at least 3 seconds. The LED light on the bridge will start to flash purple. The LED light on the bridge will change from purple to blue, which means the device has been added. Give the device a name. Tap down. Assign a room for this device. Tap down to complete the setup. You have successfully added a new single directional device. Welcome to Connector Setup video series. This video is going to show you how to add a new scene. Tap Scene and then tap Add a new scene. Give the scene a name. Select a picture for the scene. You can choose from the app gallery or choose from your phone album or take new picture. Tap add a new device and then choose which device you want to put into the scene. Preset the position of the target device. You can preset up, stop or down for the single directional device 
and the percentage value for the bidirectional device. If your bidirectional device has been already set a favorite position, you can tap the star icon to set a scene on it. Tap down to complete the setup. Select a scene. Activate it by tapping start. All the devices in the scene will run to the preset position. Welcome to Connector Setup video series. This video is going to show you how to add a new timer for a device. Tap timer and then tap add a new timer. Tap device timer and then choose which device you want to put into the timer. Preset position of the target device. If your bi-directional device has been already set a favorite position, you can tap the star icon to set a timer on it. Timer can be set to repeat on different days during the week if needed. For instance, timer can be activated on every day or it can be activated on specific days. Preset the trigger time. You can choose from the clock or set a timer according to the sunrise and sunset. For sunrise and sunset, you can choose an offset to get an ideal time. For instance, activated the timer half an hour before the sunrise. Tap down to complete the setup. Welcome to Connector Setup video series. This video is going to show you how to add a new timer for the scene. Tap timer and then tap add a new timer. Tap scene timer and then choose which scene you want to add a timer. Tap next. Timer can be set to repeat on different days during the week if needed. For instance, timer can be activated on every day or it can be activated on specific days. Preset trigger time. You can choose from clock or set timer according to the sunrise and sunset. For sunrise and sunset, you can choose an offset to get an ideal time. For instance, activate the timer half an hour before sunrise. Tap down to complete the setup.